Hey there everyone, my name is JW, welcome back to Neon City. As I promised, I am now starting a tour series of my oldest Minecraft world. And it's going to be broken down into each part of the city. And today, we are starting with the spawn house slash info house, which is where I am standing right now. So this is the spawn area right on top of the info house. This has your quick introductory to the world. See, it says spawn right here. The spawn. But yes, the info house is your house to give you the rules of the server and also any updates or anything and also shows you who the ad administrators are and everything. It's kind of like just a normal spawn, but we turn it into a house. It is a nice quick view. It's in the center of everything. Well, kind of. And you get the view of the harbor the mall, Northwood, and downtown from this area. So let us get into it. So starting off, when you spawn in, you're welcome to this sign here. Some of the signs have been removed because they're outdated, but most of this is still here. So we got Welcome to Neon City. This is the spawn area on top of the info house. Please head downstairs to learn more about the city. There you will find rules, info, and other fun stuff to do. Another thing we have is our little compass to help you get oriented in this world. So up there is north for Northwood. We have the east, we have the south, and we have the west. All right, and so this is the spawn roof. Next, we'll go downstairs here. It says, please make your way downstairs to read the rules and info on the server of what to do and what not to do. Thank you. All right, info house, second floor. So yeah, this is some of the, has some stuff here. It has the map viewing room. So you can view the map here. As you can see, it is quite the large map and we are right in, right above the harbor, right there. And we'll have each section to go through and everything. All right, so right here we have these iron doors. We use the iron doors for administrator doors because everyone at default is set to adventure mode so that they can roam around and uh, this will prevent them from accessing areas they're not supposed to. And this way is to the mall and park. So, well, we have to read the floor signs first. So here it just says that you have to get a tour first before building a house or anything, but that's a little outdated rule. We might change that. These signs here I made to mark historical buildings that were created back in 2013 or 2012 when this world first started. I believe I have the official date of when this world started on the first floor here. But yeah, so yep, these mar the markers like these or variations of the marker are a part of the Neon City Department of History. We have a history department. So yes, and this is the second floor, but yes. This is the map and banner storage for the worlds and everything. All the stuff we create are in here. So throughout the world, you'll see some extravagant stuff. All right, now to the first floor. Info house first floor. Right here, we have the history of the Neon City updates. World made by JWT4, Xbox 360, May 20th, 2012. Okay, so it is 2012. Wow, we're coming up on another big anniversary. And then next is World Update, moved to Xbox One, July 2nd, 2015. Update, moved to Xbox Bedrock, June 22nd, 2018. And then we have our most recent update, which was World Update, moved to PC, Windows 10, April 2nd, 2020. So as you can see, I've had this world for quite a while. And then this wall over here is just the world settings. So yeah, so just, uh, it's just everything in here. Um, basically all the info that people would like to know and everything all right right here we have our admin wall so we have me Derek Vortex uh, Priscillion Game Twitch and Trench all right here and we might add some more and I think yeah right here are just some of the Real quick rules, list of rules and punishment. Now this was originally here on Xbox 360. No griefing, no hacking, no racism, no stealing. So, yep, pretty simple. Back this way, we have our Easter egg section. But before we get that, let's head outside. 
And this is rail line A. There's two different rail lines in Neon City. We have rail line A, which is the inner city, and then rail line B, which is the outer city. So they both do full circles around the map, but just one is a little faster than the other. And then we have the harbor view. The harbor view is where you get to see a lot of the harbor slash downtown. And it goes out back on Xbox 360. It looked like we were just heading out to a giant ocean. So there used to be some bigger ships on the harbor, but now we had to reduce them in size due to the, not the most logistical thing to get in there. So, yes, this is the harbor view. You can go out and get a little better view of the docks in the harbor, our radio station, and then start of downtown, and everything like that. But yes, this is, oh yeah, we also have these world flags here, because um, we have had lots of people from different nations, and we also support a lot of people from different nations. So, yes, that is our flag wall. And this will lead to the tracks that we head into the mall. And now, we head back in. So they go back in. This is our Easter egg section, which used to be a lot more relevant, but now that everything, all the pixel art has been moved to its own location, there are still some pixel art that is still in the city. It's just that they're slowly being relocated to the pixel art section. But yes, we have Pokemon. We have Undertale. We have MLP. So there's there's a lot. Uh, we can even add another section for others. And then down here, this is what's going to be the new map re viewing room when we get a little bigger. Or it could be different sections like the Corellis District, Mini Sweden, and stuff like that. So we eventually hope to make this of use. And then this just leads to the underground theme park right there. But all in all, that is the quick gist of it of the spawn slash info house of Neon City. So let's say our goodbyes right here up front. Oh yeah, <laughs> so this is a little running joke. Uh, these, they're usually running, but right now I have them turned off because of the sound. But this is what quote unquote joke our power supply system where these guys will spin around on the mine carts and generate power for the city. Right now they're mainly just turned into a tourist attraction at this point. So, but yes. Yeah, and that is Neon City everybody. Uh, the Info House and Spawn Room. So, Spawn House I mean. So Info House and Spawn Roof or Spawn Area. Yes, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move it to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I love a new addition of my Bundabob Audible subscriber. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Like liking, subscribing, or sharing, or all that. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel. I love hearing from you guys. So with all that said, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Thank <laughs> you.